I often get asked about the spaces in Lily's device and how I set it up so that there are different gaps to make it easier to see things. So for example, in her food folder, you can see everything's kind of crushed together, but then there's places where I have gaps. So there's two ways to do that. One, I wanna find a folder that isn't as customized. So one, for example, you can see I have some gaps here. If you hit that pencil icon and you go to the folder that those buttons are in, there's this content section. And this button right here allows you to manually move things around. It's not gonna automate it and put it in the next slot. It's gonna be manual. But if you turn that off, now you're gonna see it moved everything to where it was the next available space. If you turn it back on, you can put things wherever you want. And then it ends up looking like that. So that's one way to move things around to where you want. Another way to do it though, is to use placeholders. So for me, before I knew about that option, I made a bunch of buttons and made the visibility hidden. And then I drag and dropped them to where I wanted them so that I could have the little spaces wherever I wanted them. So to make an invisible button, you would just you know, create a new button. I'm gonna call it test. I'm gonna change the visibility right here to hidden. And then I'm going to copy that button, that's right here, and I'm gonna paste it a bunch of times. That way I have a whole bunch of invisible buttons. So like, let's say I wanna put salt and pepper down here now where there's placeholders. I hit done and you don't see all those invisible buttons, you just see what I moved around. So sometimes having a space between buttons is gonna help the user find those buttons a little bit easier than having everything crammed together.